Uh, the streaming is actually very st uh, strange. Some days I'll um, I'll start the stream and it will just have frame drops for days and I'll stop the stream and restart it and then zero frame drops. Weird. You think it's a network oh. issue? Mm, I don't think so, eh? But yeah, you never know it's these kind of things. You share the link. Not yet. I'm busy okay. copying it now. No, no stress, no stress. I've got Twitch open. I'm all good. <clears throat> right, I need to jump in a Lancia then. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, the 31 Lancia Turbo. Oakley, Oakley. So, me and you are going to have a couple of test laps before Jose joins. Are we um, um, trying people's tunes though? Don't we need to give feedback? No, no, on? no. We are going to do a test uh, run on a stock tune. And then oh, right. you are going to create your own tune. And then that's when we're going to give feedback to the guys. So, you're going to create your tune. And Jose mm. is going to create his tune, and Rowan was supposed to do, and he was going to create his tune. And then okay. everyone was going to try everyone's tunes. I already created a tune and uploaded it, so my tune is available for, for use. Right, just to confirm, was I supposed to have a tune already made, or am I going to be making mm. it during the stream? You can even make it during the stream, it's not a problem. I know you guys are busy. Okay. I just did my tune about 20 minutes ago. Right, okay. Well, let's have a look. Man. Well, let me do this. Um, race setup. I'm still trying to share the. Uh, I'm just going to create a bass tune at least, and then I can fiddle with it later. 100%. Um, okay, so currently the fastest time is Jersey with a 24.9. Hmm. Right, okay. Okay, so let's do this, start, go to track. Fact. And here comes Jersey himself now. Okay, cool. Brakes, I don't have race brakes on this, do I need race brakes? Well, you can add it on. It does take the PI above uh, 825, but then you How's can uh, just put on uh, yes. heavier uh, rims and it will bring down the PI again. How's the jersey? Did you go? Oh, sorry, yeah, did you go with? Did you go with race brakes or did you leave it off? Nah, I left it off. Okay, right. That's the way it is at the moment for me, so I'll just leave it like that. I haven't tuned anything. I thought we'd be just testing other people's, so. <laughs> but I can fiddle. <laughs> Gary, Gary didn't read the memo. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I know. I'm a nightmare. If there's fine print, forget it. Forget it. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, we'll do a um, I'm just going to change this to a, a five lap race. Um, well, I'm going to make it an eight lap race just to be on the safe side. We've got less tunes to, 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 to test today. Um, this is box. This is a standard setup list that I have at the moment. It's not tuned. Yeah. So, like I said, we're gonna do eight laps, and then you can quickly do a tune together, and then okay. uh, you can do another eight laps, and then uh, we'll take from there. The only reason why I'm doing the laps is so that I can spectate on you guys. Okay. Oh right. Okay. For for the stream. And, and we just need to give a running commentary on what's happening or...? 
Yeah, exactly okay. how it's planned. Okay, okay so to, to, this will be 100%. Oh, okay. so, so the tune that I need to have on is not my tune, but it's the stock tune. Yeah, you can put on its stock tune now, just so that everyone can see what times you guys are running. And then okay, cool. after that, you can put on your tune, or you can, uh, both of you can use Gary's tune or your tune, and then thereafter, we well, can use the next I will create tune. mine after this eight laps. 100%. Cool. I, I went and I created um, three different tunes for the guys as well. Um, it went from in the AM class, so I've got a low, medium, and high tune, and those directly reference the um, the downforce. Okay, sweet. Yeah, oh, that's actually good. That's a very good idea. Okay, yeah, I'm going to start this tracks. one now. <coughs> What's it like um, on the bigger tracks? This. Oh, okay, we'll find out. Well, I the, the launcher. On the bigger track. Yeah, the launcher. Uh, uh, no, it's a shit actually on the. Uh, on Watkins, I see it's going to struggle, I think. Okay. I think Watkins and Silverstone, it's going to be very tough to, to get this to good, to good laps. I can see already, it's all about corner speed. Uh, just make sure it, it, uh, it is ghosted, eh? Okay. No, no, I'm asking you guys, is it ghosted? Oh, I don't think it is, no. Uh, I don't think it is, yeah. Okay, is that my mistake then? I'm sure I put it on ghosted. Well, from, from bone stock, it's quite stable, I've got to say. That's it's a bit amazing. lacking, though. In the, in the power department, though, don't you think? Oh, yeah. But it handles well. The balance of this car is a lot better than most of the others. Yeah, now we can see everyone actually. Uh, it looks like our. Uh, Dashboard is working so we can actually see the speeds as well. You yeah, know, yeah, the, stock the, brakes is good. The problem that I can see with this car is that you don't really know where your limit is. Hmm, yeah. I'd be tempted to go um, a full downforce setup for this, because it is set for corner speed, isn't it? It is, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Gary, I just want to quickly ask you, out of that last corner that you went through now, won't you get mm -hmm. a bit more, or do, won't you get a uh, bit of time by staying in third gear for that corner? It depends on, you... this is, this doesn't have a lot of torque. I mean, if you're in a okay. car that has uh, lots of power and it can torque its way up the corner, then go for it. But generally, um, with this, it looks like it's more about getting a faster speed through the corner, simple as that, because he hasn't got it on the straights at all. Okay. Yeah, speed is quite frustrating actually. Okay. It makes sense now. And I think a lot of guys will actually start understanding the exit of the corner speed a bit better now. Well like if you're in um what oh crap that's my back end. Um if you're in one of the more powerful cars, let's say for example um like you're with the Cougar aren't you? You can try yes, using yes. that torque, you know, keep hold it into a higher gear and you can usually carry a bit more corner speed and then you know it's got the legs on the straights. Whereas with this, I need to get every corner correct, otherwise I'm going to have a slow lap time. Okay.
see what happens when I go into a corner like that and then the back stepping out, that's the brake balance. Okay, but now the problem is you won't be able to change the brake balance because you've got stock brakes on. That's right, so I'm going to have to uh, try to adjust it through um, the diff uh, and the speed. Yeah, okay. increase the deceleration. And so far, Jersey's got the best time, 125.5. Yeah, shit, I'm not even <laughs> looking at that, yeah. But, but, but we have to say, uh, Jersey was at home today, so the only thing he did today was Lance out driving. No. We have to add that in. <laughs> See, now we're at lap four. I can feel that the tyres are coming on some. If the, the temperature, uh, if the pressure was set correct, it would make a huge difference around now. Okay. Well, what would you put the the tire pressures on? Would you put it higher or lower? I'm definitely going to put it 30. lower because okay. of the uh, brake balance. I need it to uh, sit. Okay. Oh, there Sweet. it is again. Oh yeah, quite the rest. You know what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to do a full aero tune on this now. Well from what, what I've done is I've tested uh, most of the cars on Brands Hatch and for me the fastest was full downforce yeah. on this track. So the tracks we've got lined up this series is um, there is a VIR, we've got Brands, there's a Silverstone, what's the others? Um, it's uh, only Watkins. five tracks, Watkins, Watkins yeah. and then uh, I'm just trying to figure out which is the one that you're missing. Uh, Sebring, oh, Sebring, that's it. Oh, Sebring, yes. Sebring, right, okay. Yes, that's the third one. A couple of quick tracks there. Yeah, especially Sebring. The, 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 the only thing is, not all the layouts have been given through, so it's still going to be a mystery as uh, what layouts will be done. Oh, so it could be the short versions or the long versions? It could be the short versions, so. Okay. Ooh, that does change things. Yeah. So Jose, have you decided yet what uh, car you're going to use for this series? I have, yes. And are you going to reveal it or are you going to keep it a secret? <laughs> I will be definitely be keeping it a secret for now. <laughs> <laughs> I just know it's going to be fast. <laughs> Gary, are you going to share with us your car? Yeah, we've chosen the Ferrari. Ah, it's done deal. I think from from uh, all the tracks that I've seen, the Ferrari is uh, uh, on the top end of the leaderboard on most of the tracks. Yeah, it's quite upgradable. Yeah, <laughs> Jose probably went with the XR4. Ah oh, no, I realized it's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, that's stuck at 822, isn't it? That one. Yeah. Could be a good car. Oh, he's going to surprise everyone and rock up with a Corvette. Oh, no. <laughs> well, for the guys watching, if you guys have any questions to ask these two boffins of uh, Forza Racing, you just go ahead and throw a question out there.
First time I've ever been called a boffin. <laughs> it's the first time for everything, eh? Yeah. I was ruined. Oh, Jersey. 24-9 now. And this is with a stock tune. Holy crap. This is a stock tune. Yeah. You're probably going to hit 23s with your tune. No, 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 no. I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt all the cars could actually achieve that, so it is obviously good. What I like about the launch is that it's very good over bumps. Mm. Yeah, I have to say when I like, tried it earlier on, on, um, on Brands Hatch, I didn't uh, even notice the bumps as what I noticed it in, in, in the car that I chose. Did you go for longer gearing on this, Jose? Um, shorter gearing, actually. Okay. Oh, fuck. You need to stop that back end coming round. So yeah, I'm happy to um, to share my tune with anybody who wants to to see it. Well, that's sweet. That's good stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you guys to the the next eight laps. Uh, I've uploaded a tune. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Use that tune and give me your guys' feedback on it. Okay. Okay, dogs. Um, is it called ISIS? Is it, is it on your car? Uh, yes, it is actually on my car as well. I'm not supposed to be on my car, but yeah, I can just uh, quickly check. The tune name is Isis Tune. It's the only tune I've got on this car. <coughs> yeah, best not say that in America. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go, got it. Okay, got it. Hey. She went with the retro style rims as well. <laughs> I tried to. I tried to. Right. Well, it's got to be better than what I've just been going around in. Okay, if you guys are ready, I'm ready? starting it up. <clears throat> And I'll give feedback according to um, the comparison between yours and the standard tune. Mm. I don't think there's going to be a lot of changes on my tune. 
I did make it a bit more firmer and full downforce but I didn't change any of the gearing I can feel that yeah. <laughs> and I didn't make it <laughs> ghost it again Fuck, almost too much down for us. There you go, it held third, I see why you were asking. See how it feels around lap four. Fuck now, there's too, too much downforce now. Go through, get it. Yeah, I, c I can go deeper in that corner, yeah. Uh, Jay, you've got a tighter line through that corner there. Yeah. Well, this tune is losing about five to five to six kilometers on the streets. Okay. Yeah, gearing Breaks is definitely is. very important with this one. Okay. So but I, I mean, from, from stock, I mean, gearing definitely needs to be altered. Okay. Yeah, because that's the only thing that I didn't touch was the gearing. Fuck it, it feels like I need to take that long right hand corner in fourth now. <laughs> what you I can take that in third. Yeah. What I am noticing is that the car is bottoming out a bit more now. Okay. Well, it's good oh, feedback. Overcorrection. Um, also, I'm perhaps increasing the ride height by one or two clicks. You can actually awesome. see, as I'm taking the corner down the dip, there's actually sparks flying under yeah. the car. Uh. That's fine. Definitely an improvement on stock, for sure. You've made you've made it better. Yeah, that's good to hear. <laughs> well, you're doing 26.4 now. Yeah, I feel like I can run deeper Fuck in that it. corner. Yeah, I'm breaking way too early now. I, I did put on brakes, and I think the oh, brakes is at 150% okay. pressure. Is it 50% equal front and rear, or is it biased anyway? Uh, no, it's 46%, um, so I think it's to oh. rear, if I'm not mistaken now. Yeah. Okay, Twenty six five five twenty five nine for Jersey, nice. Okay. Okay. No problem. Oh dear. Right, lap four, the swim tires are coming on temperature now, so the car's gonna oh yeah.
Yeah, I'm actually staying in fourth in that corner now. Yeah. Oh shit. Now what? It could be either um, downforce. It could be the ride oh, height. Oh shit. Or the tire temperature. Sorry, I think I caught a bit of your wake. <laughs> 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 okay, let me give you an example enough. I'm glad to see that with my tune. Um, I could manage the same laps as what uh, Gary is managing now. Yeah, like I say, you've made it better. And I think you could improve it slightly. Um, maybe, maybe, yeah, you, if you raise the ride height, certainly where the engine is, um, one yeah. or two clicks. And then um, also change and the gearing, it should also be better than... Well, I think, I think there is a better gearing, yes. Uh, but that's when you get into the fine tuning. Um, I'm torn between tire temps and aero at the moment. I don't know which one to go for. The tire temps, I just want to quickly remember. The tire temps that I put on here was uh, 31 in the back and 31.5 at the front. Right. But now I understand. I think uh, I should have taken it lower and not higher. I think with well, 29. Well, now they're on temperature. You can feel that I could be going quicker right now. Okay. <coughs> I think if you get every single corner right with this car, a 24 and a half is definitely possible. Oh, Gary, this car, this a track. 25, 6. No, because this car no, is so low, any form of autocorrection just fucks you over. Yeah, I saw that third corner you went out right there. Oh. Did you play around with Bright Heights today, Jose? I did indeed. Okay, so you know what works best. Yeah, oh, and Jose was at home, he had plenty time. Plenty, plenty. <laughs> Chilling in the crib. <laughs> I've got to say though, this GT Reborn series, um, the car choice won't make as much as, of a difference as it did in GT3, that is for sure. I think there's Maybe, a couple of very, very strong I, cars. I think on the on the longer tracks, it, it might make a difference. Mm. Um, but I think on the shorter tracks, I think most of the cars will, will run the same amount of times, basically. Yeah. But I mean, if you look at the Audi, the Audi is just not going to work any track. It's just too slow. It's an oddball one, that. Handles great, but yeah, there's no power. Yeah, yeah. You can get it turning every corner, no issues, oh, yeah. but... Then like racing as soon as you get, Yeah, as soon as you get out of the corner, you just see 
everyone disappearing and then there's not even enough stop in to, to catch up on those guys that disappeared my brother tested the, 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 the Audi and then I told him not to take the Audi due to that reason and then he's in the skyline over, isn't he? no no and then he went over and tested a bunch of cars and then he came to the Lancia and he did a couple of laps in the Lancia and then he said that this is the car he's going to use okay so um, yeah <laughs> I'm well, we know for a fact it's going to be good series. at Brent's Hatch. Yep. But that's where the, the, the goodness of the whole series comes in. You have to pick a car that's going to be good for the entire series, and not only just one track. Yeah. Well, the launch is not going to be bad at um, Watkins and so on. But um, there is going to be better cars there. But it's still going to be close racing. <coughs> I'm looking forward for the series. Mm. Yeah, I am. Definitely. <coughs> Fuck, man. 25-3. Mm. Well, I, I still think it's a good lap, considering. Yeah, um, absolutely. Okay, you guys it is. I think, uh, for, for, uh, yeah, what makes this, yeah. yeah, what makes this tune a bit frustrating for me is that there's such a fine line between being on the limit and having overconfidence. But uh, you, yeah, you don't really, it's, it's very, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like you think, okay, I've, I've got trust in this car, this car's gonna stick, and then slightest bit of overcorrection, and you fuck off. Okay, so I'm um, quickly Crap. giving you guys a bit of time to do your own tune quickly. Yeah, Make I've sure to say that. loaded this one. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the drawing board. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is out of the three that I created, I'm gonna I'm gonna try the low downforce tune. Hmm. When I when I say low downforce, it literally has like the downforce um, bars all the way to the left. There is like no downforce. I just want to see yeah. how this will compare with extremely high downforce. I mean, the car is very light, right. but a lot of mechanical grip. So, I mean, I suppose it would be interesting just to see how things will turn out. I haven't yeah, done a single lap with the low downforce. Maybe. Mm. <laughs> Rowan, why don't you find this fair? It's because you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> he just commented on the stream. He <laughs> just says, I don't find this fair. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I want to know what he doesn't find fair. <laughs> um. yeah, Gary, let me know when, when you've got your share or your tune saved. Yeah, no problem. Tell me, are you streaming on um, on YouTube? On Twitch. No, on Twitch. On Twitch. Yeah, um, I'll quickly sh send you the link. Yeah, please. Um. Oh, wait, sorry, I've got it. I'll just check the group now. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I'll, uh, oh, he's stuck that. in the office. That sucks. Oh, yeah. He's still stuck at the office. <laughs> yeah, I saw some of the guys, uh, Gary, I see you've got the, the, the stream open in front of you. I've got some of the yep. guys saying that the stream is not working on their side. Mm. Uh, is it working okay. good on your side? It's working, yeah, it's working fine. It's working, yeah, 100. Okay. Well, then I'm happy. Maybe they've got a bit of a, a download issue on their side. Okay, we're just still waiting for Gary to Almost, figure out his yeah. tune. 
It's doing a bass tune quick. Uh, Kester, give me an idea, Jose. What do you go full? I will tell you now what my caster is. Uh, so my caster currently is 5.4. Right. Okay. Well, if you want, I can I can literally give you my tune. I can read it out for you. Uh, well, I just need it. I just want to stop the back coming out, and then. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Give me. I mean okay. PSI and all of that. Okay, so my tire pressure front end rear is 2.0. Okay, so what is that in PSI? Oh shit. <laughs> uh, good, good, so, good. Let's run through the other stuff. The stuff we can do. Okay, uh, the other stuff. Uh, <laughs> give it, yeah, okay. Let's start at the other end. Give us your diff. Give us your diff. Let's start there. Okay. Uh, diff. Uh, sixty-nine percent acceleration and thirty percent okay. deceleration. Thirty, right? Got you. Um, uh, no brakes. Arrow. Yeah. Arrow. So this is the low downforce tune. So it's literally seventy-five and eighty-three. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm just showing the news uh, on the stream as well. Okay. So I'm also going through it. Let's go okay. with uh, yeah rebound. <laughs> Okay, rebound 6.1 and 6.6. .6. I think I left this as That's is. low. Yeah. Is it? It doesn't wallow 6 around. 6.1 like and 6.6. .6. Yeah. Okay. And the bump? And then my bump stiffness 4.1 and 4.4. Okay, right, got you. So, springs also stock or? Uh, springs are stock. Okay. And then and my just ride ID Yeah. Um, okay, I see on your. Okay, for damping, I'm actually also watching. <laughs> uh, damping, I've got 6.1, 6.6, and then bump stiffness 4.1 and 4.4. Yeah, yeah. You, sorry, you're gonna be a bit delayed with the stream behind us. Um, what is this? Oh yeah. Uh, um, oh, see See the. Yeah. Uh, I see that you you've got yours in. Well, I've got mine in metric. Oh yeah, yeah, I've got mine in Imperial, the same as Gary. Yeah. Gary, what is your springs on? Um, I just did exactly what Jose said. Yeah. On the on the springs. On the suspension, oh, no, yeah, it uh, is. Uh, 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 on the springs in kilograms, on. I've got seventy three point seven and seventy nine point nine. Yeah, but I need, I need to know what Gary's got on his springs. Oh right, I have four oh nine front and four forty three rear. Okay, four oh nine at the front and yep. what is the back? Four forty three. Four forty three. Mm. Okay. Okay, what do you guys have the ride heights on? Oh smashed. All the way down. Yeah, my all the way down. Way. Okay, yeah. sweet stuff. And then uh, anti roll bars? Um, okay, so my anti roll bars are also stock. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. need the number. 14.6 and 9.7. 9.7, yeah. 14.6. Yeah, and then 9.7. And then 9.7. Okay, sweet. Okay. Okay, and then uh, alignment, you guys said the camber is on? Mine's on 5.4. Sorry, it's Mine on camber, sorry. Sorry, no, no, no. Camber is a stock negative two degrees and negative one point five. Okay. Okay, and then the toe front and rear. Uh, zero front and negative zero point one rear. Okay, and then the cost you said is five point two. Five point four. Sorry. Five point four. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, and then gearing ratios. Okay, so my oh, gearing I didn't is touch it, yeah. Yeah, my <laughs> gearing final drive. <coughs> my final drive is four point one four point one two. Four point one two, yes, the first gear. Um so what I'd recommend just look at your zero to hundred well, your zero to hundred miles per hour but my zero to one six one. That was first six point eight six six, but after you change the gearing you'll actually gain zero point two. So um yeah. Final drive 4.12, first 
2.81, yes. Second, 1.93. Okay. Third, 1.47. 1.47 mm. uh, Fourth, 1.19 Okay, and, and fifth? fifth 1.01 Okay, so first oh, Sorry, sorry not 1.01, sorry, 1.0 Okay, 1.0 yeah. yeah Yeah Okay, sweet Okay, the tires is gonna be a bit of an issue for me and Gary. Uh, Gary, what what do you think of the tire pressures? Well, what I've done um, because the the rear wheel is such a, a, a larger diameter to the front. I've gone twenty seven point five at the back psi, and I've gone twenty eight point five at the front. Okay, sweet. I want to keep that back end still, otherwise I'm not going to get any speed through the corner. Yeah, makes sense makes sense okay are you guys ready to do this uh, setup <laughs> ready ready <laughs> it's also, be a the, only disaster, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the only difference that i have with the low medium and high tune is the ride height and the uh, and well the down downforce force. yeah okay sweet um okay i'm gonna start this i'm gonna spectate on you guys again cool Hope it's not too cuck. <laughs> <laughs> ghost? Yeah, I put it on ghosted now. Okay. So that should work now. Well, it's definitely better. Mm, went way too deep there. Yeah, uh, that's the one thing if you're going from full downforce to zero downforce. I think the downforce definitely helps with braking as well. Brakes feel a bit numb now after having your race brakes. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's more like a preference uh, of how you want your your brakes oh, to be. Come back. Gary, I see you're still staying in fourth gear that previous turn. Yeah. I'm just going to quickly ask you this. Um, okay, turn two is the hairpin, turn three, turn four. On turn five and turn six, have you guys thought about, um, because I see both of you going f uh, into the, the, the turn five in fourth gear, and then mm -hmm. exiting turn six and third gear. 
Have you guys thought about uh, maybe entering the, in third gear by turn five and exiting or keeping fourth gear uh, through turn six? Will that maybe keep a bit of speed going or will that slow you down? Turn five. Sorry, I'm yeah, only um, counting the corners in my head now. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see. Okay, Gary, I'm with you now. So you just yep. actually turn three, you're going to turn four now. Okay, right, so I'm coming That's up to turn five. So the next one is turn five. Well, not the kink yep. in the road, I don't count that as a corner. Yeah, underneath the bridge and then you get to turn five. Yep. So I see both of you going into fourth gear around here. So I was thinking um, going to third gear and then gearing up to fourth and keeping it in fourth through this turn, turn six. You can. Oh. It all depends on your setup, really. You've got to feel and do the test. See what. See if you can improve your lap time and okay. You know, see if it works. Trial and error. <laughs> okay, so I see Gary set the first fast lap twenty six zero. Hey Reaper, good and you. Lap four again, the tyres are coming on temperature. I can feel it, the car's changing. Yeah. It's Always feel slower through the corners at first. It's, it's good to see two of the best drivers of our LSA going head to head with the same tune and seeing that they're actually managing more or less the same times. That's very good to see. Oh shit. In the grass. <laughs> Commentator's curse. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, it looks like you on the cracker left. I think Gary I'm actually the down. Left. Are you down? down? Point okay. six down. Yeah, but Gary, you went on the grass. Surprising you're not uh, uh, point one, oh, well, 1 1.6 down. And this track is not forgiving when, it go, when you go off track. Okay, so we've got Jersey with the 25.8, but still fastest lap 25.7. I, I want to talk about uh, turn four. Um, I've seen a lot of people trying to. Uh, well, the, if you look at the racing line, the racing line wants you to stick it uh, close to the inside and keep it tight. Um, but I've seen you guys taking uh, the, the entry much wider into the corner. It's not by choice. I can't control the back end. Oh, okay, but would you rather stick it in tight and, and, and keep it on the racing line, or would you rather take it out wide and um, have a smoother exit? I would much exit? rather keep it on the ra racing line. I'm just trying to keep the car pointed in the right direction, to be honest. Oh, okay. Well, Jersey was at 24.9. Very Gary nice. 25.6. Well, if this is only the beginning of this series racing, I can't wait for, for it to start. I mean, if I'm looking at the guys going head to head, 
and you guys had a proper series with uh, a GT3s and uh, now with this GT Reborn series coming I think Oh fuck Sorry Gary No uh, The problem me. is if, if you stick two wheels on the grass with this car then it pulls you to the to the grass and there's no way of coming out of it I can't describe it, but this car makes me feel like I can be going quicker all the time. I know, right? <laughs> oh, that's frustrating. Yeah. We've got uh, a Reaper commentating and, say, uh, uh, commenting and saying, uh, um, watching the two of you guys race is going to make him not miss one of the pro races being streamed. That's good news. That is. And with this being uh, two heats this year, I think it's going to be absolutely a fantastic racing. I'm looking forward to the reverse grid. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's gonna that's gonna separate the men from the boys when it comes to racing. Bit of battling. Oh, because I, I mean, if if I look uh, at, at you and me, Gary, um, everyone knows you are around a second to almost two seconds faster than me, and uh, I will never forget the first race I was able to beat you. It was Monza with the GT3 cars, and I had <laughs> you behind me. For, well, I think it was 20, or no, what, how many, 16 laps, I believe it is. 16 laps, yeah. I had you behind me. You were in the Maserati, were, weren't you? No, 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 I was in the, in the BMW M6. Oh, that's and it, you, yeah. you were just hassling me the whole way through. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's one thing to be in the lead and, and, and drive away, but to work your way through traffic, yeah. that's where where it gets difficult and I think that's one thing that we're going to see in this series is seeing guys able to overtake and not just run away with their race from the front. Well I see it all the time you've got guys that can um, drive quick you know they'll, they'll sit and do a few laps at home and they'll put in some quick times and then as soon as you get into race conditions it's like you get a sudden rush of blood to the head you know and you start panicking and making yeah. silly mistakes so um i think it's just about getting used to that feeling yeah and like you say it's it's i think we would oh the race stop i thought yeah, we nice one, someone I now. <laughs> yeah that was a good one i just want to see the lap times there uh, jose with a 24.9 and gary with a 25.6 so that's uh 0. 0.6 of a difference that was 0. 0.7 mm. basically if I can uh, just keep that back end still, I would do one fast lap. <laughs> uh, Gary, oh. don't you want to do a setup or? Are you uh, well, I'll tweak. Are we doing? Are we doing some more laps? I'll definitely tweak it. Tweak it and tell Jose how you're tweaking it and. Uh, okay. Well, let me change yeah. the results first, and then, uh, and then we can talk about what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> hey. mm. It's rear engine, eh? Yeah. I'm not sure if it's rear or is it mid. I, I believe the, 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 the game says it's a mid engine. 
Let me just quickly select the car and see what it says. Well, I think it's, yeah, I think it's on the it, rear axle, yeah. It's, it's actually in the mid. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. No, I was also surprised today when I saw it was mid-engine car. Hey, Yui, how's it going? Right, let's give it a shot. So basically, what I've altered, I might as well tell you. Um, <laughs> the uh, rear arrow, I have dropped that down. It's basically at about a quarter. Um, I've altered the diff, I've brought it down from 30 to 20 because, you know, if I shift down and the wheel locks up slightly, then that will send the back end out. Um, oh, I and then I, I just tweaked the gearing, I just made the uh, first a little bit shorter because there was a lot of spin when I was starting. Um, okay. Yeah, and that's it. Cool. Okay, sweet. Hey, Jersey, if you're ready, we can. Uh... You can have another oh, go at this. <laughs> Just busy saving call, let's go. Okay, let's get this started. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to uh, change a bit of settings on my setup. I'm going to tweak the, um, the gear ratios. I'm gonna it's it's the, definitely the fine now. adjustment. You don't have to do any wholesale changes. Oh. And then I'm definitely going to let you guys know as soon as I've done that, so you guys can have a go and see if there's any good improvements on that. Oh, and the bump stiffness. I reduced the bump stiffness front and rear. Okay. <laughs> Bit of drifting going on around there. Her own saying go skunkworks. <laughs> Uh, Gary, it, it looks like you, but you, you feel more comfortable with the car now. And it's not only yeah, the back one end's left. not moving around as much. Yeah. And twenty-seven nine. You guys are close to each other. This is good racing. <laughs> uh, Reaper for for, today, uh, for tonight. It's gonna be on Brands Hatch. Next week we will do another track with a different car, depending on the voting. As the series goes on, we will do a vote on uh, cars, and then I will do the next track in line in the series.
No, Jezzy already was at 25.2. And Gary, I think you did a 25.5 already. Oh, crap. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, both of you who in that wide there. The tyres are in the process of changing. I think that's why we've both got a little bit dodgy there. <laughs> Oh, this is definitely good to watch. I can't wait for the series to start. It's gonna be sweet. And we've got the AM race on Monday and then the Pro race on Tuesday. Holy crap. And which what is going to be good is we've got some previous pro and semi-pro guys in the AM group going up against each other. So Who's that? Uh, Beamer Stein is uh, and um, Grip Gambler. They both in uh, AM class now. Oh, did they join uh, in? Cool. Yeah, and uh, we've got Mordnay Otis A as well uh, in the AM class. And, um, Where's Danadu? I saw he was back. Yeah, Danadu is also in the end class. You're right. Okay, cool. So yeah, we've got a, a couple of good guys in the end class. The end class is going to be Rossi. Donkin. Yep. Well, again, that reverse grid. Yeah. That's where all the difference is going to come in. And then I'm excited for the semi-pro class. Yeah, and Johan's in semi-pro as well now, isn't he? Oh, crap. Uh, Johan, uh, you're talking about Bullet? Yeah. Yes, he's also in semi-pro. Yeah, the, the, I think the semi-pro lineup for, for this series is... is actually a fantastic bunch of guys. A bunch of fast guys as well. Yeah, for sure. I have to say that the difference between pro class and semi pro in the qualifiers was, I think, guys missed out by 0.1 of a second to, to, to go to the pro class. So, Jeez, it's getting um, close. Yeah, it is very close and it's going to be fantastic racing. Gary, it looks like the 24s is just evading you. I was just thinking that, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I haven't managed to put one complete lap together, you know. There's, there's always been something, either the back slid out or touched the grass. Nature of the beast, I suppose. <laughs> uh, Jersey is on a track at 24.8. Yeah, he's in the zone. Well, he's been practicing since early this morning. Well, I in the car you've him. chosen. Yeah, in the car you've chosen for the series, Jose. What time are you doing at Brands? Uh, Twenty-four-seven. <laughs> oh, right. So you're on pace. Yeah. <laughs> Have you done any tasting at Brands yet, uh, Gary? No. I think we're gonna get my ass kicked. <laughs> I know you, you mentioned today that uh, it's actually surprising that not a lot of guys took the, 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 the M1, the BMW. 
Yeah. And um, I have I, I have to say I did test it, and like you said, it's absolutely fantastic off the line. But yeah. it's quickest. one of those cars you can it, it either works for you or, or doesn't. And I think well, mid engine you know, one of yeah. I, th I think it's one of the most difficult cars to have consistency at a fast pace for me. Right. So it's, 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 it's easy for me to have one good lap in that car, but to have that same lap, lap after lap, it's impossible. This is, that car just doesn't want to work for me. Well, Gary, I have to say, I'm surprised you guys didn't take the, the Corvette. Uh, it's good at certain tracks. <laughs> but it wasn't good at Brands Hatch. Brands Hatch is, yeah, definitely not what. We were doing 26s, <laughs> I think, and we were going flat out. <laughs> well, that's good. I think no. uh, that will impress a couple of guys in the, in, in, in the semi-pro group because um, I think Flash managed a uh, 26.5, if I'm not mistaken. And, and he's also taking the, the, the Corvette, so yeah. Is he going with the Corvette? Yes. Ooh. So we are going to have a couple of guys in the Corvette. What's your over, overall verdict on the Lancia, uh, Jose? Um, it's good, but I want to see it at Watkins. Yeah. <laughs> Where it needs power. Yeah. Well, it, it looks like there's a bunch of guys going with the Lancia. So, um, like I said, do we gonna we're gonna have a voting each week of what car the guys want to have. Um, review for for the next uh, race so hopefully by the time we get to uh, Watkins the guys chooses the Lancia again oh I'm on a stink of a lap now do it come on oh fuck yeah 24-4 oh <laughs> nicely done very nice nicely done <sighs> it definitely makes a difference when the tires kick in. Fuck, I know. Mm, from that floor, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, for all the guys out there watching, I think uh, these guys will be more than happy to share their tunes with you. As I know we've got in Jersey's tune. Uh, you Gary don't want much on my car. <laughs> <laughs> What I'll do is I'll go and tweak my setup and I'll have uh, Gary and Jose um, run it for a couple of laps again. And then I'm very they... sorry to all the viewers. Um, I didn't have anything prepared. It is my fault. <laughs> I didn't I didn't read the fine print. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Gary's one of those guys who just saw a message setup testing and he's like yes we go for it we didn't worry about anything else yeah he was just the, happy boom. to be racing <laughs> <laughs> oh that's good it, uh, it's still guys i'm just gonna swap my my battery quickly no all oh, good cool. uh, well um gary i'm gonna swap over to my uh setup again um, all right I want you to give so what me. What time's my better half two. getting on anyway? I've got no idea. It's. Uh, I think he's still, still watching. Rowan, darling, <laughs> well, uh, Reaper, will you be joining think, me this uh, evening? <laughs> 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 yeah, Rowan is still watching. Um, okay, we've got Reaper. Uh, I think uh, Reaper, you missed most of the tips that were given out earlier. Um, I think uh, one thing that uh, 
Jose uh, mentioned was uh, with the ride height not to go too low if uh, depending on your your springs your setup. downforce and your yeah. downforce yeah um, um oh, both Jose, can, yeah. uh, you just joined now uh, again after changing your battery um mm -hmm. i've got my setup open in front of me i'm just gonna change the ride height i'm gonna take it two ticks up on front and rear mm -hmm. and then uh, can you give me your gearing setup again sure one second uh i'm gonna change the gearing to to what you said and then i'm gonna share it again and uh, maybe cool. uh, the three of us can quickly have a go in it. So my final drive is 4.12. Uh, 4.12, yes. And then uh, 2.81 for first. 2.81, okay. 1.93. Three. And then 1.47. Seven, seven okay. Uh, 1.19 for fourth. 1.19 and then 1.00. Zero zero. Zero zero, zero, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna share the setup again. Um, cool. I'm gonna just overwrite the <coughs> machine that I've got on. Oh shit, so you guys can just uh... You know what is weird is that is it, as soon as I move from your tune to my tune with a different gearing uh, uh, I almost likened your tuning, your gearing better Just from the corner perspective, the only time that my gears were okay was after turn th 1, 2, 3 three and the second last corner left corner as well um from the going into from third to second um okay but it, it took a while getting used to but i think if you yeah i mean you, you just have to put in the laps and, and see what works for you really okay well i like to let's uh, do the well i'm sharing it now i'm gonna change i, I changed the gearing to 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 your setup um, now I've got full downforce on still. Uh, just to run okay. through my, my setup here, I've got the camber front on negative 2.4, uh, okay. rear on negative 1.2, and then my uh, toe front and rear is both on zero. And okay. then my front caster is on 3.9. Okay. Uh, Anti roll bars. Front I've got 5.46. Mm -hmm. And then uh, rear 16.07. Okay. Um, and then springs, I've got 346.8. Okay. And then, uh, well, that's front, sorry. Rear is on 481.6. Okay. Look, that, that, that won't mean much to me. I'm, I've got in metric. <laughs> oh, you've got in metric. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, well then I'm not even going to give my ride height to you because they're yeah. 3 and 5. Um, rebound stiffness, 8.2 and 7.5. Oh, okay, sure, okay. Uh, uh, bump stiffness, I've got 4.8 and 5.1. Mm -hmm. And then, the, well, the arrow is full on front and rear. And then, okay, okay well, I added, added brakes, so you guys didn't add brakes, so what my brakes is on 46%, and uh, brake pressure is on 150. Uh -huh. And then um, my, um, what is this? I can't see what is this last one. Is it the differential settings is on 63% and 53%. Okay, you just need brake pressure 47 <coughs> uh, brake pressure, 46. Oh, uh, sorry, the balance, the balance, sorry. Can we alter the balance? Okay. Oh, to 47. To 47. Mm. Okay, the braking balance now. Please, yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, Gary, I'm just going to change the 
psi on the tires to you okay. said front you had on 28.5 and rear on 27.5 27.5 yeah i'm just gonna see if that makes also a bit of a difference for you okay i'm gonna save and share it again Okay, then I'll copy it from yes. your car. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, it is shared. Well, from the three oh. cars, it's going to be on track now. I can promise you, mine will look the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you guys are ready. I'm just downloading it here quickly. Got it. I'm loving the paintwork on your car. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. That's why I said my cars will definitely look the best. On fire! <laughs> A nice sunset orange. <clears throat> That's it, yeah. No, it's like a sunset orange type of thing. Let's see if I can stick with you guys. There is brakes. I think this, this will then give the guys an idea Whoa. of how good you guys as well is compared to me. Fuck it. I'm getting mixed signals in this car. Uh. <laughs> what, one corner it's understeering and the next corner it's oversteering? Yeah. <laughs> Someone wants to be at the back. Oh, I'm struggling to keep up with you guys. Mm -hmm. You see, but now the problem is I'm also driving the car as what I would have with the previous gear ratios. I just made a mistake. Oh, 25-2 already. I'm 
25-6 from Gary, nice. Tell you what, it's a toss of a coin between having the brakes and not because it didn't seem to be that much different. Lap time okay. wise. Ah. Uh, now it's just 1.5 up on this lap. And I threw it all away. Okay, once again we can feel the tyres are coming on song. Yeah, it feels like the car's a bit more grip here. <laughs> oh, man. I can definitely feel since I changed the driving style now to suit the gear ratios it feels a lot better now what times was you doing before uh, well before I was getting low 26s I'm still getting low to mid 26s but the car feels a lot more stable but I haven't had a proper clean lap as yet. Yeah, the front bunk stiffness definitely needs increasing. Okay, sweet. But I feel like the Man. rear springs could do with reducing. Okay. Yeah. 
Are you with me on that, Jose? 100%. That is a bit hard to control. Okay. You want to be able to push the front end on this track. You want to keep going as deep as you can into the corners and if it's too soft it just locks up and you get a big plume of smoke. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. No, I forgot to turn. How can I forget how to turn? Don't be surprised how often that happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think Gary will be hoping it happens to you during the race, especially you. Absolutely. Low 24s. Yeah. Get my ass in gear. Now you and Rowan are going to have a tough time again, Gary. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, anyone in the lobby can win this time. I mean, it's that close. Yeah. And it's Someone so easy gets a to clean make a break mistake. Or... Absolutely, yeah. Wide Especially open. Brands Edge. Yeah. And like everyone has seen, if you touch the grass, You can lose seconds here. Yeah. I'd much rather have a close race and finish third than a uh, crappy race run and it. run away at the lead, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, for everyone still watching, uh, tonight we have a uh, international race going on with ETR. I will be streaming that race. Are you streaming? And uh, yeah, I'm going to stream it. And uh, okay. if it goes according to plan, I'll stream it from a spectator's view from my wife's Xbox. Mm. Mm. So yeah, uh, hopefully they allow it. But yeah, that's going to be on the Twitch channel. You guys can definitely have a look at that. I know it's a late race, but uh, it's worth a watch. It kicks off about 10.30, I think. Yeah, 10.30, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stop the stream now after this. I uh, just want to have a look at the times. So do you guys think by changing the gear ratios and uh, the, uh, the the ride height, did it uh, improve the, the, the car? Definitely. It definitely, definitely felt better, definitely. yeah. It, more stable for sure, yeah. Um, and I would oh, increase the, the front bump stiffness, um, and I would look at reducing the rear springs. Okay, sweet. No, I'll definitely have a look again and uh, do some changes, and uh, let you guys have a go at it once you have the opportunity again. But I think that's it for tonight. It will still give us a bit of opportunity to, to practice for tonight's race. I mean, yeah. Some of us haven't even <laughs> nope. checked the track yet. I know I haven't even put a, put a foot on that track with the Ford yet, so <laughs> it's going to be something else for me. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, yeah. thanks for everyone uh, that uh, joined, and uh, yeah, hopefully, we've got a, 
a good car next week again. Thanks, guys. Awesome, man. Thanks, guys. Cheers, cheers.